ಓಂ ಗುರುರ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುರ್ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರು ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಓಂ 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 ನಾರಾಯಣ 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 ಇನ್ ಸುಗಮ ದ ದ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಯಾಸೇಜ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ದ ದ ಹೆಡ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾಂ ಪ್ರತಿ ವಿವಿಧ ಶಂಕಾ ತತ್ಪರಿಹಾರಶ್ಚ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಡೌಟ್ಸ್ ಸೆವರಲ್ ಡೌಟ್ಸ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಕ್ಲಾರಿಫಿಕೇಷನ್ ಕ್ಲಾರಿಫೈಯಿಂಗ್ ದೋಸ್ ಡೌಟ್ಸ್ ನಾನು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನಾನು ನಾನು ಚ ಶ್ರುತೌ ತಾವತ್ ಯಥೋ ವಾ ಇಮಿ ಭೂತಿ ಜಾಯಂತೆ ಯೇನ ಜಾತಾ ಜೀವಂತಿ ಯತ್ ಪ್ರಯಂತ್ಯಭಿಸಂವಿಶಂತಿ ತದ್ ವಿಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸಸ್ವ ತದ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಟೀಚಸ್ ಇತಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣೋ ಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸತ್ವ ಮುಕ್ತ ಇಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ಸ್ ದ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಉಪನಿಷದ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಉಪನಿಷದ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ಸ್ ದ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಈಸ್ ಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸ್ಯಂ ಈಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಈಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಸಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಈಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಎನ್ಕ್ವಯರ್ಡ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಎನ್ಕ್ವೈರ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ದ ಒನ್ ವಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಟ್ ದರ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹೂಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಇಟ್ ರಿಮೇನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಅಲೋನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ರಿಮೇನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಸಪರೇಬಲ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ದೆನ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಎಂಡ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಡಸೆಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೇ ಯತ್ ಪ್ರಯಂತಿ ಅಭಿಸಂಬಿಶಂತಿ ಲೇಟರ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಿಸಾಲ್ವ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಡಿಸಾಲ್ವ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಅಲೋ ಡಿಸಾಲ್ವ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಟ್ರೂತ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಓಕೆ ತದ್ ವಿಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸಸ್ವ ನೋ ದಟ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ನೌ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ವಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ನೌ ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ವೇರ್ ಡಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಬಿಗಿನ್ ಸೊ ಹೌ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹೋಮ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಬಿಗಿನ್ಸ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ಸ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಡಿವ್ಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡೆಡ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ದೆನ್ ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ದಟ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ಸ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಸಚ್ ಎನ್ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ವೇರ್ ಡು ಯು ಲುಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹೋಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ದಿ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಇಶ್ಯೂಸ್ ಅಪಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ವೇರ್ ಡು ಯು ಲುಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ವರ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಬೌಂಡ್ ಯು ಕುಡ್ ಲುಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ಪೇಷಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಇಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ವಾಸ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೋ ಟು ದಟ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದಟ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಆಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಎನ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಇಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಏರಿಯಾ ಬಿಯಾಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೋ ಟು ದಟ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಬಿಯಾಂಡ್ ದ ಏರಿಯಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ದ ಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಸಿ ಇಫ್ ಎ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಸಮ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಇಫ್ ಯು
Therefore, if we understand first this one point, that the time and space are part of the world. Time means past, present and future. Past, present and future. The entire time is part of the world. Part in the sense is with the world. World includes time and space. It is not that the world exists within time for a certain period of time. World is not existing for a certain period of time. Time goes with the world. The idea, the idea of past, present and future, the experience of past, present and future, this goes with the world. World and time are not two. Not it. World and the time are not two. World and time are one. World and space are not two. Space and the world are just one. That means time and space are inseparable from the world. They are just the world. Then the ob subject and object also. Subject and object to the subject who knows the world and the world that is known to us. This subject and object, the two poles, the two poles are part of the world. Part of the world means the two poles also constitute the world. One of the pole is not outside the world. Subject is not outside the world. Object is not outside the world. So, so how do you look? How do you look for the cause of the world? You have to include the subject also. Then you have to include the time. You have to include the space. S time, space, object, subject. This together is one world. Now, if you are looking for the cause of the world, where will you look? You have to look not sometimes in the past because we have included past, present and future in the world. Since we have included past, present, future as a part of the world, with the world, you can't look for the cause of the world at some time in the past. Okay. <clears throat> then where do you have to look for it? Look for the cause of the time. Cause of the time is timeless. A timeless existence from which even the time is born. Time means the idea of past, present and future. All three periods together. The past, present and future. The entire idea of time. Okay. The past, present and future. So the entire idea of time sp springs from home. Lives upon home. Who is that on which upon which the entire time depends. The entire time of past, present and future depends. The entire, uh, uh, the entire idea of experience of past, present and future lives upon, springs from, means itself is free from time, that you have to remember. Itself, the cause, the causing, the, the, the cause, the basis of the time, past, present and future, itself is free from time, means it is neither past nor present nor future. Itself is an existence without any division into time. It cannot be imagined in terms of time. It cannot be thought through the relationship of time. See, you cannot think of it through a relationship, through a conception of time. Time means what? A length of time, a certain period of period is called time, point of time, period of time or relationship of time. Time can be seen in three ways, a point of time, a period of time, period means a length of time, a sequence of time or it can mean the relationship of past and future, previous and later, the idea of a previous one and a later one. This idea of sequence, previous and later, is also time. So the time is understood in three ways. Means these are the three aspects. 
three parts. One is a point of time. Another is a period of time. One hour is a time. One day is a time. Okay. One hour is a time. One day is a time. After one hour, what happens? Again, one hour repeats. Another hour. Another hour. There is a cycle also. Time means a cycle. See the how we conceive time. We understand the time in these ways. One is a point of time. Now, what time is it? It is 11.31. Okay. 11.31. Now, this is one point of time. What time is it? It is at this point of the entire clock. A point of time. A period of time for a half an hour, one hour, or one day, one week, one month, one year. This is a length of time. So, this, this period of time is a cyclic. Because after that period ends, the another period begins, another cycle. Then the cycle ends another cycle. So, we think of time cyclically also. That's why we call clock. In English, we call it a clock. Kala is a chakravat in Indian languages. In Indian languages, we call time is like a cycle. Huh? Day, you take it sun rising and setting. And again rising. So, day and night, aho ratram is a cyclic. Or if you go by the modern way, the O clock. One round the clock we call. 12 hours makes one round. Another 12 hours makes another round. Two rounds put together is one day and night. So this going round, time is round that is cyclic. Another aspect of time, another way of, another way of looking at the time is a, sequ sequ a relationship of a previous to it and later than it. Any event you take it, when did it happen? When I ask when, before this or after this? Before and after. So we can think of time in this way, before and after. Another is a period and cyclic. Another is a point of time. Okay. All these four we include. We are not studying the time. Because we are not understanding the time in order to use the time. Using the time is Vavahara. We are understanding the cause of the time. To look at, to understand the cause of the time, you have to transcend the time. Okay? Because the time is world. So to understand the cause of the world, you have to leave, leave the time and go to the point where you become timeless. You go to the point where you are timeless. Okay, you have to leave out the time and go to the timeless. So, in order to transcend the time, because that is where the cause of the time, time means the world. Time means the world. So, you are looking for the cause of the world, the root of the world, the truth of the world. The truth of the world is independent of the world. It is the cause of it. The world means time. Now, at the moment we have taken time, we will take the space, we will take the object also. Next, first we are taking time only. <clears throat> so, it's beyond time. Beyond time means what? How do you see beyond time? Now, we understand the time in these four aspects. One is the point of space, another is a period of time, sorry, point of time, period of time, that is a cyclic and another is before and later, a relativeness of time means before and later, a sequence. Before and later is a sequence. Now you have to see the cause of the time as free from this nature. That means the, 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 the cause of the time is beyond the point of time, beyond the period of time. That means beyond the cycle. It is not a cycle. Cycle is a change. A cyclical change. What is free from cyclical change is timeless. Or a relativeness of before and later. But the truth which is the cause of the world cannot be seen as before and later. Neither it is before the world nor it is after the world. So if you 
if you relate the cause of the world the truth of the world through the world as something before the world and later the world see before later this idea of before and later is a part of the time it belongs to the world okay that means it is also part of the world it is related to the world now we have to go to the root of the world the cause of the world which transcends these four aspects of time one is a point of time period of time the same period of time can be seen again and again it becomes a cyclic a period of time is one hour if the one hour is again and again seen then it becomes a cycle so one day but the day repeats then you call cyclic again the day comes again the next day again the next day each day is similar day day comes night comes day comes night comes day after night and after night after day and after night and after day again so this is a cycle but the truth the cause of the world means the cause of the time cycle is beyond the cycle it is non cyclic it is non period the brahman is not a period the truth of the world is not a period truth of the world is not related to cannot be seen through before and later the idea and before and later should be dropped off the i so if we search for the cause of the world through the idea of before and later through the relationship of before and later if you see brahman the truth the truth of the world through the world how how it is related to the world as before the world or later the world if you see the truth of the world as related to the world through before and later as before and later then that's not the way of understanding because you are looking at the cause of the world through time only time is a part of the world that means you are looking at the cause of the world through the world and within the world if you are looking at if you are looking for the cause of the world through the world only means you will be seeing within the world alone you will not be able to understand the truth of the world okay therefore these four aspects of the time how to be left out how to be released then the point the truth of the point is pointless point means now is a one point but the truth the cause of the cause of the time is pointless pointless means you can't put it as now it just it is a pure existence without a point it is a pure existence without a period it is a pure existence without a cycle it is a pure existence without a relationship now now four aspects of time we have transcended now you look for the cause of the world not through these four categories these all these four categories have to be left out and just leave them leave a point and look at the existence leave a period and look at the existence leave a cyclic period cycles are again cycles are smaller cycles bigger cycles okay one minute is a one cycle because minute repeats one minute again one minute again one minute then the uh, hour also repeats one hour again one hour again one hour cyclical one hours repeat repetition of hours the same one hour repeated it becomes a cycle repetition of days and night one day is repeated day and night a week is repeated again sunday comes up to saturday again sunday comes repetition of month the month is also cycle we have many more divisions within hindu we call them ayana the six months period is called uttarayana and dakshinayana one is a month another is ayana another is varsha still yuga different cycle smaller cycles bigger cycles okay the biggest cycle is as a kalpa we have got the biggest cycle of time is kalpa but the cause of the world is beyond the world 
that means in world three things we have to see time space and object we are seeing only time we will see space also and we will see object also okay now we see the 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 therefore these four aspects of time you have, see we are not interested whether it is a 3 or 4 or 1 you may reduce them into 3 the cyclic is also same period period is cyclic cyclic is a period. you may reduce all of them it is only a common man's language common man looks at them uses different words so i am taking all the words so don't question me how can you say that then don't argue me on my on on, on the very uh, what you call definition explanation of time because we are not learning about the time we are not we are not using the time for certain purpose then the question of time arises what is the real nature of time and all that we are not trying to understand the nature of time we are not trying to use the time we are not trying to define the time use the time and then how to use it and what it is we are only learning to demarcate the time so that you can leave the time and come out of time you can transcend the time our purpose of studying time is we study in such a way at such a point such an aspect from such an angle that you can leave the time and come out of the time that's all we are interested vedanta talks of only that and time studying time as a useful thing living within time experiencing the time and how to use the time how to understand the time if you are talking that way then that is within the vyavahara that is within the world so we are not talking of the time as experienced within the world only life we are learning we are observing we are examining the time so that we can transcend the time and find out the cause of the time who is that cause of the time the cause of the time itself cannot be thought of in this four ways or many more ways any number of ways but any way of a time that's all i mean one is a point of time so brahman is not a point it is a it is dimensionless brahman is a dimension it's not one point one location it is dimensionless it is not a period because it extends it has no beginning and end see what what has a dimension is a point the cause of the point is dimensionless okay then the what is a period period begins and ends so the cause of the period is beginningless and endless it has no beginning no end such is the existence an existence which neither begins and ends is called the beyond the beyond a period of one hour one day one day also a day begins and ends month begins and ends year begins and ends let's say new year comes but parmatma doesn't have new year parmatma doesn't have birthday because it doesn't begin and end so the existence is something whose whose beginning cannot be thought of whose ending cannot be thought of that means what is beyond beginning and ending such a pure existence is the cause of time <clears throat> then the cyclic brahman is not a cycle because cycle is a repetition a, ch- a continuous change and conti- a changing continuity is called cyclic pravaha changing continuity it changes and continues again continues again continues changes so it it is not a changing continuity it is not a flowing continuity it is flowless immobile it is motionless it's something like a cycle is there a cycle has axis on the axis the wheel rotates so if you are anywhere on the wheel you feel that you are rotating come to the axis no motion see the cycle moves if you sit anywhere on the wheel somewhere near the axis middle of the wheel or edge of the wheel i don't know how to show you i think anyway, it is it is easy to imagine is a children's way huh? but there may be some person 
because since you are far away, uh, it may give rise to misunderstanding. So if if the if the cycle is like this, the chakram, the chakram also close to axis, still you will be moving. If you are in the middle of wheel, still you will be moving. If you come to the edge of the wheel, there also you. In fact, if you are edge of the, if you are sitting on the edge of the wheel, you will be moving much more. <laughs> From the edge, you go inner side of the wheel. Your movement will be less. Still, you come to the inner movement will be less. Still, you come to the axis of it. No movement possible because movement remain. The axis remains motionless upon which the wheel moves. Okay, the axis. Axis, you know, I don't know what you call. There is an axis like a rod on which the wheel moves. From the wheel, from the edge of the wheel, come to the middle. Then come to the uh, still inner, then come to the rod, the very axis. You are free from wheel, no wheel, no running, no movement. So uh, I am only suggest telling you first understand the time. Time, how many aspects of time means how we look at the time. They may not be aspects, but they are different ways of looking. Let us say different ways of looking time. Now we have to transcend all these aspects, all these ways of looking time. The truth of the world, the cause of the world is beyond this any of these aspects of time. Okay, now you have to see the cyclic. You have to transcend the cycle. It is move. It is kutastha. In Sanskrit we call it kutastha. It is not moving. It is nirvikara, nischala. It is nischala. It is motionless. It is immobile, motionless, and it is the basis of it. The basis of the entire cycle. Then another is before and later. Before and later also doesn't apply to the cause of the world, because the idea of before and later is part of time, therefore part of the world. And the cause of the world, the truth of the world is. Truth of the world cannot be thought of as before something and later something. It is not related to anything. Therefore, it is neither before something nor later something. It is all. It is existed before. It existed later also. So it cannot be related as before something, or it is after something. It is neither before nor after. It is everything. It is all the time there. Then how can you call it before what? It existed before also later also. Then how do you relate to it? <laughs> so in these four ways you have to transcend the time. That is the cause of it. Therefore, yato va imani bhuta nija yante. So the one from whom all this world is born, bhuta ni, pancha bhuta ni, living beings, animals and plants, animals, plants and all this. The one from whom or from which all this is one. That means all the living beings, living and non-living. Okay, all the living and non-living limited beings existing in time and place as objects or as subject. Okay, as an object or as a subject, lives within time, lives within space. Therefore, the truth has to be. Where is the truth? Instead of ask, in instead of answering, where is the truth? How to look at it? How to look for to find the truth? Ah, where to look for to find the truth? I won't tell you where is the truth. What is the truth? I won't tell you. Panishad doesn't tell where is the truth. What is the truth? It tells how to look for it. Where to look for it? Ah, that is Vedanta. Vedanta helps you to turn your attention in a proper angle. There, the world, the limitation, samsara dissolves, and you are with the truth. The one who is searching finds the truth. Otherwise, the people generally ask, "What is the truth? Where is it? And what is the proof for it?" First thing is you are putting a wrong question. That means you are very inquiry. You are very search for the truth. You are very inquiry for the truth is on the wrong track.
if your very method of enquiry is wrong you will come up with a wrong answer you will come up with a wrong answer so you put a right question you get a right answer okay therefore the time has to be trans time of this four ways it is a, it is an existence it is a pure existence without any point because it is dimensionless without any period because it is it, no without any period because it doesn't begin and end without being a cycle because a cycle is a movement it is a non cyclic means it is a motionless then it is beyond the relationship of before and later because it is a non relational existence okay now relational means in terms of sequence before and later it can be the truth itself can be thought of neither as a before something nor as a after something something you take it and then put it as a before to it or after it no there is no point there is no point taking which you can see as a before and later the idea of before and later applies to the world not to the cause of the world then you come to the truth which is timeless timeless people think timeless means they imagine something it is somewhere there at some at some point of time now you are thinking of timeless through time this is wrong totally wrong you're making a biggest mistake <laughs> timeless has to be seen without time. now coming to the space okay space how do you understand the space space can be seen as a point of space just like point of time you can see we can imagine we can experience space as a point of space that is a, a location i am here sitting here one location or you can see area of the space then is there any cycle of space there is no cyclical space i think you can come to the same space go, go and come you can fluctuate within the space alive you can go to that space and this space you can move within the space from one area to another area ah uh, in time there is a cycle in space there is no cyclical in space there is movement from one place to another place one area to another area one place to another one point of space to another point of space shifting moving traveling is possible within space okay the another aspect of it is uh, front and back left and right okay space which is this side of the space and that side of the space near and far you can say near and far is area of the space near and far is also relational space near and far so all this we are talking as a common man we are we are discussing see don't don't, don't try to argue me because i am not discussing space as the scientist to do scientist understanding of time and space is different and that is useful to the worldly life we are discussing time and space in such a way that we need to transcend it that we can transcend it that's all we demarcate the time and space and look at it in such a way that we leave the time and space and go to the cause of it therefore our understanding of time and space is different vedantic understanding of time and space is different from the scientists way of understanding time and place okay <laughs> just a bit because scientist way they take space as a some entity some experienced one and they are trying to use the space because they are trying to use do something within the space they want to use the space for some purpose and do some activity leave some things in the space huh so space is an accommodative in which things exist so there you are using the space from the vyavahara that, that is called a vyavaharic understanding of time and space our darshana say our nyaya vaisheshika darshana particularly vaisheshika darshana even sankhya also 
ನ್ಯಾಯ ವೈಶೇಷಿಕ ಸಾಂಖ್ಯ ದೇ ದೇ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸ್ಟಡೀಡ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಬಟ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸ್ಟಡೀಡ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ದೆಮ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅ ಟೈಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಹೌ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಯೂಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೌ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ದೆಮ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿಂಗ್ ಹೌ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸೆಂಡ್ ದೆಮ್ ಸೊ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸೆಂಡ್ ದ ವೆರಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಓಕೆ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಆರ್ ಫೋರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಫೋರ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಮೆನಿ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಯು ಲೈಕ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸೆಂಡ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟು ಹೌ ಟು ಡಿವೈಡ್ ದ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಯೂಸ್ ದೆಮ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಈಚ್ 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 ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಔಟ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಬಿಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ಲೆಸ್ ಲೊಕೇಶನ್ಲೆಸ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೊಕೇಶನ್ ನೌ ದ ಟ್ರೂತ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಟ್ರೂತ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ವಿಥೌಟ್ ಲೊಕೇಶನ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡೈಮೆನ್ಷನ್ಲೆಸ್ ಡೈಮೆನ್ಷನ್ಲೆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಿಥೌಟ್ ಎ ಲೊಕೇಶನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ಫಿನಿಟ್ ಹಾ ಇನ್ಫಿನಿಟಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಿಥೌಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ವಿಥೌಟ್ ಲೊಕೇಶನ್ ವಿಥೌಟ್ ಡೈಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಡೈಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ವಿಥೌಟ್ ಎ ಡೈಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ಫಿನಿಟ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿಥೌಟ್ ಎನ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ಫಿನಿಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಸೇ ಇನ್ಫಿನಿಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋ ಎನ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಬಿಗಿನ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಂಡ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಓಕೆ ಏರಿಯಾ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಗಿನ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಂಡ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ಟ್ರೂತ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ದ ಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ನೋ ಏರಿಯಾ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ನೋ ಎಜ್ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಔಟರ್ ಎಜ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಎಜ್ ಆರ್ this side one edge this side another edge like this this side one edge and this side another edge it has no edges two sides two sides of this this side edge and that side edge that means it has no endings at all it has no edge edge less boundary less okay area you transcend the area by looking for boundary less no beginning no end no boundaries at all ha infinite therefore look for the cause of the world through space by transcending the space leave out the space that means it is boundaryless then the relationship of near and far brahman is neither near nor far near and far are relations it is non relational brahman is non relational neither near nor far distance occurs between two things two poles two points of space when you put two points in the space the relation comes two points then this is from this this much it is in the front it is in the back it is in the left side right side it is on the left side so these are angle relational but the truth of space is non relational it is neither near nor far that means don't imagine don't try to understand the truth in terms of relation spatial relation therefore it is beyond the space now where do you look for we don't say where to look for where means a location where means a point in the space no Shruti Upanishad is not teaching you where to look for. It is teaching you how to look for. How to look at it. How to look for the truth. Look for the truth in such a way where your mind is not involved in space. The spatial categories, spatial idea. It doesn't bring the spatial idea of point of space, area of the space uh, and the movement in the space and the relationship in the space. okay you remove all these things you look at the point you look at uh, the the truth in such a way where you don't bring any of these spatial relationships that is self existing dimensionless infinite existence okay that infinite existence is the truth from which the jagat is born this is a manana what i am doing is this is the vichara 
this is manana point by point point by point we have to go and we have to transcend time space then the object i'll tell you just within one minute and can close it okay 40 minutes over already 47 minutes <laughs> hmm. every day i wanted to do two classes i don't know whether i will able to do vedanta paribhasha anyway i'll finish in two minutes <clears throat> now the subject object object is related to subject subject is related to object object means there is something which i know okay something which i know is called object then what is subject one the one which knows something see the thing one who knows something is called subject that which is known to me is called object so the known is a relative to subject subject is relative to object okay subject is something exclusive to object object is something excludes the subject because object is not the subject subject is each one excludes and each one is relative to other okay each one is a given thing excluding the other or if you take only object within the objects also there are many objects each object excludes the other one is unlike the other book is unlike the pen pen is unlike the wall wall is unlike a tree means each one has its own specific features special features tree is a tree not an animal animal is an animal not a wall wall is a wall but not a pen pen is a pen but not a book so each one has its own identity its own special features brahman the truth of the world doesn't have a special identity a special features which can be compared with other objects or contrasted with other objects neither compared nor contrasted that means it is neither similar to them nor dissimilar it transcends all these objects objects means something a given thing an objective identity having certain features that becomes an object then the subject is one who is related to the object as a knower of it as a subject of it so subject is subject is exclusive excluded from the object at the same time related to object but the truth of the world is neither subject nor object don't look for the truth of the world as a subject neither look for it look for it neither as a subject of it nor as an object of it ah this is a beautiful see you have to look for the truth which is neither a subject nor an object but generally our mind works only in subject object subject object or many objects it works as a many objects or subject object only within these two relationship alone it works then you have to kick out that mind which works only in these relations in in relation relationship in terms of time relationship in terms of space relationship in terms of object our mind functions only in these three ways remove all these three look for the truth which which involves neither time nor space nor object object is subject and that is a truth that is infinite all encompassing it is everything leaving out nothing it includes everything but leaves out nothing it is everything whatever it is it is same ah that absolute thing is the cause of the world okay so we are stuck with this one sentence alone manana is such a thing it takes consumes a lot of time just to shravana will just a basic thing we tell you and leave you but if you start doing manana i have to explain all these things okay then one one small point to consumes the entire one hour okay we'll continue in anyway we wanted to have every day the same class we'll have next day tomorrow only we'll have again okay earlier i used to have weekly two days now now i am proposing to have every day sugama every day vedanta paribhasha okay now i'll after this i'll start in another 5 minutes vedan but anyway it is a pre recorded and uploaded now you are you are not seeing directly now <laughs> it's not live uh, okay 
now we'll continue this thing how to look for this thing uh, so the question still the question is not complete we are in the part of a question we'll discuss tomorrow om shanti 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 harihi om shri gurubhyo namaha harihi om tat sat